A prominent Belarus opposition leader is missing after being abducted off a street in the capital Minsk. Maria Kaletskinova, who's spoken at many major rallies, was taken away in a van by unidentified people. She's been a campaign manager for opposition politicians and a vocal supporter of Svetlana Tikhanovskaya, who's now in exile in Lithuania. Bernard Smith is monitoring developments from neighbouring Lithuania. Bernard, just bring us up to date with what we know about this uh, alleged abduction. Well, it's clear that the risk of being taken off the streets or arrested in a protest or being thrown into jail is becoming an occupational hazard for opposition leaders in Belarus, as well as the hundreds of thousands of people who are continuing to protest four weeks after Alexander Lukashenko declared he'd won the August 9th election with 80% of the vote. Uh, but uh, Kolesnikova, Maria Kolesnikova, was, according to a witness, dragged off the street. She dropped her phone during the scuffle. The phone was picked up by one of the men that had dragged her away in the van, and the van drove off. Minsk police say they haven't detained her, but she has not been heard of since this morning, and some of her colleagues have not been heard of this morning either. Svetlana, Svetlana Chikhanovskaya, her friend and colleague already exiled here in Vilnius, uh, says it looks like an attempt by the authorities to derail the opposition uh, coordination council. And she says uh, Lukashenko's regime is engaged in terror. Bernard, this is the latest in a series of detentions uh, and of opposition members by the authorities. Of course, at this stage, we still don't know exactly who it has been that might have taken them. Um, uh, to, um, um, taken Maria, but uh, given the circumstances, is there any sense that the protests are beginning to thin out, or as they are, they as strong as they have always been? Sunday's protest, from what we were able to see from the pictures and what we heard from people on the ground, were as big as they have been in the last three or four weeks. Certainly, didn't seem to be any smaller. So, if there's been any attempt at intimidation. It hasn't been particularly successful so far. There was an uptick, uptick in the number of detentions made, I think some 633, according to the police in, Minsk, uh, police in Belarus, Interior Ministry in Belarus, arrested nationwide on Sunday. And we saw a greater attempts by security forces to pick people out of the protest as they started going home, rather than tr when, there, when there were numbers were thinner on the ground. But if anything, the protest numbers have been swelled by intimidation tactics. But uh, Lukashenko is determined to hang on. He's off to Moscow in a couple of days, according to the Kremlin. He shows no sign of giving up. And he's now reliant on the patronage of Vladimir Putin, who has given his support to the status quo in Belarus. And uh, Lukashenko will be discussing that with Putin in a few days' time. That's Bernard Smith bringing us up to date on the situation in um, Minsk on that alleged abduction from neighbouring Lithuania. Bernard, thanks very much indeed. Well, Veronika Tsipkalo is a Belarus opposition leader who's a com campaigned alongside Maria Kolesnikova. She says it's a typical tactic of Lukashenko's regime to try to intimidate leaders. There is no information. Hopefully she was detained for a couple of hours because in our country, in Belarus, you know, it's so-called normal. It's not normal, but in a good sense, but it's normal when the people get uh, detained without any explanations. So hopefully she will be uh, released as soon as possible because I really worry about her. In Belarus, the entire nation became leader. Itself. If you see uh, the leaders, that we see the leaders everywhere now, in the streets, in the students, in the universities, uh, in the factories, in the plan, uh, plants. Lukashenko regime works this way. Every time they see a leader, they would like to isolate this, this leader from the people, from the Belarus nation. And this is so-called, as I said, it's normal uh, in Belarus right now. But uh, hopefully Lukashenko will not be able to detain 9.5 million people of uh, Belarus because this simply there will not be any space in the prisons. But unfortunately, this is how regime, Lukashenko regime is working now. The protesters will never give up. Uh, as you see, it's been almost one month since the peaceful protest, uh, protests uh, started. And we believe uh, uh, the sooner Lukashenko leaves, the better for the entire country, for international community. So uh, to my opinion, we will never give up. The Belarus nation will never give up because there is no, uh, like, there is no another way for Belarus. We want another president, we want uh, new free elections, and we want all political uh, pol political uh, detainees to be released as soon as possible. So we will fight until the very end.
we believe the Belarus nation believes the Russian uh, Federation will never uh, allow any troops on uh, Belarus border or on Belarus territory. And as I said, like we will find a uh, f- fight at, until the very end. Uh, it's always I refer to the peaceful protests. I refer to the peaceful demonstrations, and we will fight until Lukashenko leaves uh, Belarus, until Lukashenko gives up gives up uh, his power, uh, because like we, Belarus people do not support Lukashenko any longer. He has not more than three percent of the votes now.